Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Woo -hoo. See what I have to put up with. Online extravaganza on stage swaps. <laughs> Like help. Song. Please help me. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are from Matusu Crafts here in the UK. Ooh. And oh, we've got a cat that's running across <laughs> the table. Okay. Oh, right. Where was I? Hi. Yes. Um, Barry and Jay here from Matusu Crafts. Um, it's, all, it's all going very well at the moment, straight off. Um, I had it all worked out. What did I say? I knew I would go blank instantly. Hi, Lisa. Um, hi, Lisa. Yes. Um, okay, yes. We are your independent Stamping Up demonstrators based here in the UK. See, I'm getting put off. Based here in the UK and um, we are also available in France, Germany, Netherlands and Austria. <laughs> Any of the products you see us using here today can be purchased from us via our online shop. So if you live in any one of those countries which were just mentioned, you can buy anything you see us using, which is great. Alternatively, if you live in any one of the other countries uh, or any other country around the world, which we haven't mentioned, we have a donate button as well. So if you would like to donate to our channel to help support us, support us and bring us, uh, help us bring you more videos like this and over on YouTube, then please, you can help donate. Now, we would really appreciate it and be very thankful if anyone did donate it. Remember to make sure if you do donate, please give us your address so we can send you a little thank you card as well, um, which will be great. And obviously, if you shop with us, we will automatically send you a thank you card, so, which is lovely. And we have been joined by a cat already. Are you going to say hello, Tommy? You do not. There, no, there he is, just down there. <laughs> so, hi, Gigi. Um, hi. So, yes. So, that's that. So, today we are going to um, show you a project using the Free as a Bird stamp set from the... Oh, don't tease her. She's going to want to come into something, come in shot. No, because she's on the table. Okay. I'm, I'm getting her down. <laughs> Um, so yeah, today we're going to be using um, one of the items which is currently on the online extravaganza. So we're going to be mm. using the Free as a Bird stamp set, um, along with the Stitch Nested Labels dies. Um, so we're going to be using that tonight just to show you. Currently there's 15% off bundles and um, ink pads, selected regals and neutrals, and cardstock as well. So we'll, go, we'll talk about that as and when we're out, whilst we're out crafting. But we wanted to just play with the set, so if you haven't got it, you can see what it's all about, and you can see it, and hopefully if you like it, you can purchase it. Um, we are also going to be bringing you, showing you some of these swaps which we got from our lovely on stage event. And wow, what an amazing event it was. Yeah. Um, so, thank you for everyone um, that went there, swapped with us. It was just such an amazing, uh, amazing weekend. So, we have got so much, so much information which we want to share with you. Um, but I'm going to show you there, this here is the catalogue. So the mini, the new mini catalogue in landscape function um, format, format, which is a different format to the normal. Can't show you the inside of this just yet, but there you go. You can see the, um, you can see the front cover. So you've got a sneak peek there of some of the items, beautiful, which we are going to be getting to play with over the coming months. And obviously, you've got celebration as well, so you can earn three B items. Um, which is superb. So there's the catalogue. Um, if you would like to get a catalogue from us, then if you have if you purchase stuff from us, then you would automatically get one of these sent to you in the post. So if you have purchased anything from us within the last six months, you'll automatically get one. Um, if you're interested in getting one you haven't purchased from us, easy, just buy from us and we would automatically send one to you anyway. Or if we're trying something new this year, so or you can purchase the catalogues from us and they will cost you five pound I'm not sure any equivalent in euros. Um, I will work that out. Actually, I can't remember the euros equivalent of that. Um, purchase a catalogue from us from five pounds. But what we would then also do is we would then give you a five pound off voucher um, for your first purchase from from us of twenty pound or more. So we're doing it that way this year. So if you'd like to get save a bit of money on it, you can buy a catalogue from us, and we would even give you the money back on your first purchase of £20 or more. So, um, so of or 23 euros, 71 cents, I think I said, or five pound, 5.93 euros, let's so say six euros off. Okay, 
So, hi there. Um, hi, Vicky. I will have to do for, um, Google Translate, but bonjour. Hi, <laughs> That's all I can remember. <laughs> So, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to crack on. I think so. What Jay's going to do first, he is going to show you some of the swaps which we got yeah. from on stage in Germany, Dortmund in Germany, and it was amazing. So, we loved it, I loved every minute of it. It was my first one, Jay's second one. So, we absolutely yes. loved it. So, he's going to so show you nice. some of that. So tiring, yeah. So, first, I was first, I yeah, it was amazing. But yes, after I went to work on Monday, we got home. Nine Sunday. o'clock Sunday evening. Yes. So. Hi Fiona. And then day off yesterday, so I kind of like had that as my um, rest day. <laughs> yes. I had my rest day on Monday, and I think I slept <laughs> most of it. I was exhausted. So <laughs> hi Fiona, thank you for joining hi. us. We missed you on stage. Hopefully next time we will see you. If you're wondering what these are, these are our our cat ears. Um, we gave these to all of our team. Um. So we we were actually we were lucky enough we went with two of our team well our, our full teams we've only got two team members currently at the no, moment. No, we have three. Oh, we do have. Oh, sorry, um, Lindsay. <laughs> if you're watching, we had two of our team members come with us, um, so which was lovely. Um, and we go and because we are the Matusu Stampers, named after our three cats, we just had to have cat ears. So. Yes. Um, this is our little, um, so if you're wondering why we're wearing cat ears at the moment, then that's why. So, but I think they will come off very soon. I wore them a week on, a week yeah. on. It's actually very good. I didn't actually get, it didn't hurt my head. Normally, sometimes bands and things I think my head. head is too small. It kept falling off. <laughs> I had to, like, keep pushing it towards my ears. Oh. Or my ears is just too out. I've obviously got a big head then. <laughs> So, um, what's that? Hi, Vicky, what's that? I'm still suffering effects from on stage in Toronto, but worth it, Definitely yes. Definitely worth it, was, it. Yes. And you just had one day of it as well, so Christ, if you're, you're suffering from the effects from one, one day, then what did you get up to? <laughs> yes, sure. So, um, lovely. All right, let's right. crack on. Yes. Gonna we're, pass gonna... Out to, we're not going to show you all of our swaps because we've got probably we've got at least probably 80, if not probably nearly 100 yeah. swaps to get through. So we're not going to show you all of them. We're just going to give you a kind of, over the next coming weeks or something, we just start, we're just introducing some bits and bobs um, and show you, and then we just get crack on with the crafting yeah so we're gonna switch around and um, and you can see we've got one cat just sat there but hi Hello. Suki Suki say hi yeah. <laughs> just sat on the table waiting for us to craft <laughs> there we go so Jay is gonna do this first part Lots of walking around Toronto before and after the event yes we uh, did that in Dortmund as well lots of walking around <laughs> Right, so we have like two boxes of swaps and um, we'll probably do it in a couple of videos um, but a couple of the um, special ones. This one is from Ini. Uh, she didn't say her made by Ini P. Um, yeah, so she gave us specially chocolates and it's um it's got b and a j on there and it's on the um the box as well decorated in the come sail away thank dsp you much, thank you so much um that's lovely and um managed to um give her a couple of hugs and um, finally meet her as well so that was really cool um thank you so much uh we haven't opened it um because there was so much sweets and Chocolates on on stage. We didn't actually eat any of us. No, we didn't. We still haven't eaten we, any of us. No. <laughs> <laughs> we tend to wait a couple of months. Uh, this is from Patricia Humbert uh, from France. Um, this is a, a cute. Uh, Barry has taken up, uh, taken off the treat inside, which was uh, cheese from. I've eaten the cheese already, and it's oh, lovely. Oh, have you? Okay, yes. so you have eaten cheese, um, and this is an, a nice treat box there, so it, um, you can have that. Uh, with a clip or open up with the treat bag uh, and it's got the what's that called the what starts called? with art or something um oh you've got me i got to find yeah, it yeah that's all right so thank you very much patricia right we have this huge well it's not huge but this is all of our flatter swaps um so i'll just go through probably half of these so this one is from Margot Brando, Brandt. Crafting Forever or Stamp Set. 
and this one is a nice banner folded on top with the straw I believe follow your art, follow your art. okay the DSP uh, Br Brandel uh, from Austria I'm guessing and it's a really lovely banner um, so it's got the the punch and I'm guessing that's punched out as well or die cut from but it's got the Delicata gold stamped on there so save you from heat embossing it and that looks like it's been um, folded into and stuck on there which is lovely so we're always it's lovely to do some swaps with um, other demonstrators for more inspiration and this one is another treat ah lolly see i don't even know what's inside them i have we haven't opened them that's quite a cool way of um inserting that lolly there so um just creating a bit of a hump i guess <laughs> <laughs> and then um, punching the holes and then you can put your lolly inside and that is from is there a magnet on it that is from Daniela Winkler thank you so much Daniela if you do see any swaps that you like more info on uh, give us a message um, we'll either try and answer it all or um, forward you to the creator of it and this one is another treat box and what's in it Ooh. Ooh. Haribo. It's a Haribo yes oh, a tiny Haribo I've never seen one of these that's quite cool so a, a treat box so that's great for table gifts and um, party gifts as well Anke Schlingmeier so I apologize now if I don't say uh, pronounce your name um, correctly. I'm reading it how it's spelled. So <laughs> sorry. That's great, and it's got the sprig punch and the uh, label me pretty stamp, and that looks like it's been sponged on there as well, and with the DSP. Uh, oh, this is cool. Um, this is from i believe sandra i don't know her surname, don't know her surname. Shh. i want to say no i don't know no, we're not but say um, sandra is from lola's team our um good friend lola from germany and this is her team swap and it's really simple but it's quite effective so it's double on inside um wrapped it on there and it's secure in there, it doesn't fall off, so it's got the classic label, uh, hard punch, and the uh, mosaic mood, I yeah, guess, well saying. Um, yeah, really, so, 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 so. And we got two, thank yeah, it's you. It's just a way of just jazzing up a piece of chocolate it makes it so much more fun. Ooh, this is cool. This looks like a magnet um, from, see, we haven't opened them. Silke Schroeder, Schroeder, and she is from Germany. Can you see why I now gave Jay the job of doing, <laughs> the, of doing the swaps? <laughs> I've just realized that now. Um, this is cool, extra, extra for you, I'm guessing. And is it a magnet? It is, it is a, a, it's a magnet. Is it a magnet? Yes. Excellent. Oh, well, that's going to go on our... Oh, yes, um, it is a magnet. That's going to go on our fridge. Yeah, that's that's our um, tombow holder. An empty... Yeah. Cello tape. Little tip. <laughs> Cello tape holder. Use it as your tombow holder. <laughs> Thank you, Sil Silke. Silk. Um, decoration. Tree decoration. Uh, we, we do have a decoration on our... A tree already up but it's more of our crafting tree oh. so get well this soon kitty cool. sorry oh no hi kitty oh get well soon uh this is a wood wooden element wooden element uh with the 
stitch stars and heat emboss joy that's really cool. pretty and it looks like that yeah sponge as Sponged. well Sponge. Lovely. Lovely. I have a closer to yeah. that. and that is from Kirsty Blowers thank you so much yeah a UK demonstrator there Ah, I follow her on Instagram. Hi! I didn't even know that we swapped. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Beautiful. Ooh, what's this? What is in it? Ooh. I like this. Um... Oh, have you already? Oh, wow. We do like chocolates. So, two Milka chocolates in there. We don't get this chocolate in this country that might like this. Oh, Who is that from? Is there a... Ah. Oh, that's cool. Does it open? It it opens flat. Oh, is it a full <gasps> flat box? That is amazing. Oh, excellent. Okay, we'll be so, doing a movie case in this one at yes. some time, I reckon. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Petra Rosenbaum. I think. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Thank you very much. That is such a cool box. I do like my full flat box. Um, you can keep it flat. It's not that deep but you can keep it flat until you need it so great for craft fairs and then when you have your chocolates ready you can fill it up i love how she's coordinated the color as yeah. well yeah chocolate with the um... that is so cool barry can um do you want me to put those away well i can not put them away if you don't want me to <laughs> Ooh, oh cool this is uh Scissor charm or mobile phone charm. Um, and that is with the mousse, the mousse punch with the string plastic. Oh, can you see? Uh, sprig punch there for decoration and it looks like that's a, a label punch. One of the... We need more scissors, Barry. We've, we've, we've got yeah, two. We've got We've got but with paper them. snips, one of well, it, it's the best scissors we've ever had. You don't really need more than one, but where's the paper we'll for this to... one? Oh, I gave it to you. Oh, there. Fair. There you go. So that is from uh, Christine Rohr. Christine Rohr, thank you so much for that. That's so cool, and I like that banner. That's just on cardstock. It looks like it was in, uh, stamped with the stars and then embossed with the subtle as well. Um, this one, ooh, tic tac. Yeah, I like that. So one there. it's a matchbox, matchbox box, <laughs> matchbox box, um, treat box. I'm guessing, and it uh, it's got a tic tac in it. And it's a normal size, and that is from. I have no idea. But thank you so much. Um, so great dimension there. Yeah, <coughs> there we go. We have more treats in here than cards, I thought. Uh, so this is quite cool. So it's got the tea, cup of tea, uh, and it's got the tea bag in there with from simone hack and it's got two tea bags in there and it's just a wrap around but it's lovely um it's decorated with the dsp and the uh, um, reversible stamp there's more reversible stamps coming your way soon Ooh, i like how the <laughs> sorry it's cool. gonna go with his belly in there <laughs> yes but that might they must have cut that, um, yes. hand cut that. Hand cut that out, I would say. So I would say uh, probably punch a hole first and then, so then you have something and then cut it, cut around the hole. There we go. That's Barry it. can do the thing. And you were lucky to get European chocolate. Yes, yes. <laughs> we, we did go to um, a shopping center and all I bought was chocolates and sweets. <laughs> This is cool. Another tree decoration. Um, Jilly Hunt from the UK. And I believe um, there is a video tutorial. There is for a video. This. Jilly has made a video, um, video tutorial for this one as well. So um, and it's, check her out. Jilly Hunt. Um, check her out on YouTube as well. Or on her um, website, jillyhunt.com, which is cool. Using Garden Lane DSP 
foil papers, ribbons, and embellishments. So that's kind of like an origami tree with um, copper foiling there and uh, mint macaron ribbon. Yeah. Oh. That is cool. I like that. So how many more are you going to do, Jay? Uh, how, how long have I? <laughs> we have been on the four. This is fun. I like this one. I love this ribbon. We don't have that ribbon, but um, it might just have to go on. But that looks like first frost. And it goes out like... Well, it's kind of like a screen card, I guess. You can have it like that. Or you can have it as a voucher. So if you still have those paper vouchers or even um, cut out the to, uh, mini glue dot and put your voucher in there. That's quite a cool way of um, sending a voucher. And that is from Suzanne Herman. Uh, from Berlin, 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 <laughs> but that is lovely and a great way to use the DSP. So she's uh, picked out colors from the actual DSP and match the cardstock that's on there. There we go. So I do a couple more because we've been on yeah. half an hour already. Oh, wow. And there's still we know, we still haven't even made a dent <laughs> in the box yet. Mini sewing kit. Um, and it's just on the cello bag. Uh, three one of the treat bags, I'm guessing. But it's lovely that it's um, coordinated with the cardstock Bermuda Bay and the stitch shapes, I'm guessing. Sh stitch stitch <laughs> shapes framelits. No, not framelits. Stitch shapes dies. <laughs> Say that fast a few times. And, ooh, it's a magnet. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to do that it's that one that's cool <laughs> so that's great so mini sewing kit travel for traveling and um created with the cardstock and it's just a pocket there so you can use that for if you probably elongate it again under a gift card idea holder idea and i quite like that the um how it's um yeah, that is the die from, I don't know what it's from, but, um, no, I can't remember and then Sorry. it just holds it in place. I haven't been um, brushing up on my products. Normally I'm quite good. <laughs> Pi uh, perfect, perfectly plaid and pine tree punch, uh, another tree decoration. Plaid DSP. And that is scrap with step. Um, yes, Scrap with Steph. Um, I, I'm sure I know her from like Instagram this. or thing as well. Why have we not got this ribbon already? I know. I I I, 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 I do is. love that ribbon, Why and I'm sure I've added it. it on, I'm sure I've added it into our order, but you always take it off. <laughs> I blame Barry. We've got an order going through tonight. If anyone's living local to Basingstoke as well, we haven't placed our order. Um, to make use of the and you want to collect your stuff from us. So. We received two from Steph. Thank you so much. Well, our tree, our Christmas tree this year is going to look amazing. Are we actually going to have a tree? I thought we just have the craft tree. <laughs> well, the craft tree, Christmas tree. Ah, this is cool. So it's one long, um, I would say, less than two inch, just under two inch. So it, uh, you can fit the punch, and then uh, belly band, and. A, What's it called? That's in the brightly gleaming suite yeah. or something. And spring punch there and wafer. And that is from, I don't know. Um, it doesn't say. Oh, thank you so much though. All right. Okay, one more, one more. We'll get the big ones out. So again, the moose punch, I believe that is um, gone now, isn't it? Um, yes, maybe. It sold out. It's uh, it sold so well. But this is from our friend Lola. So this is her team gift um, using the Delicata ink there and the punch. And it's got the um, finger hole there. And Lola. Oh, thank you so much. 
So two of those and try the tissue. Yeah, thank you so much, Lola. We'll definitely use that. We, we, we like do our like candles. our candles. <laughs> um, so it's the same one there. But it's such a pretty candle. You don't want to burn it. Right, that is it for our swap. We do have some more. So we'll slowly go through it or do a, a long video with swaps um, because it is um, going on a little bit. And we have another big box, probably an, an A4 size box full of more swaps and more, more 3D swaps. But thank you so much for those who, uh, to those that swapped with us or even just gave us their swap because we burned out. We only made uh, about 80. Um, <laughs> and I thought that was too much. <laughs> eight, 80 swaps and um, the videos for our swaps are actually online already on our YouTube channel as well as on our blog. So if you want to check those out, um, have a look uh, on our blog or YouTube. So I'm going to pass you on to Barry because he is going to be using the Free as a Bird bundle with the stitch nested label dies because it is part of the online extravaganza where you can get extra 15% off. 15, yeah, it's already got 10% off. So, okay, so it's already so got... So you get an extra 5% off of it. So you're, you're saving 15% off in total on the bundles from today, tomorrow, and the 22nd. Yes, so limited time, but it's a great way to save on bundles, uh, stock up on cardstock and ink pads, uh, the new ink pads if you don't have it yet. Um, we're, we're gonna make the most of it. Uh, we, made, we ordered our PPP, which is uh, a perk for going to on stage last night, but we're, we'll be making another order soon for the online extravaganza so you should as well right i'm gonna head uh hand you over to barry thank you so much for um staying on okay all right so let's pull up a seat all right so let's just clear up a little bit of room could you just take that on there in yeah. present that way all right so as jay said we're going to be using the free as a bird stamp set also going to be using the um, oh, I had it. What was it? It's the Bird Ballads. I'm going to find out exactly what it's called. Um, I've gone blank. Page 90. The Bird Ballad Laser Cut Cards and Tin, which is lovely here. So, obviously, this is just a nice tin tin. Um, it's a, a, a nice tin as well. And you've got these lovely laser cut cards here all right so they're already pre-cut pre-laser cut and it comes with the envelopes as well now you get 12 of these in the in the tin so i'm going to be using them we've had these for a little while and they haven't been used and i thought perfect opportunity save some money on that as well and just use the rest of the suite which goes with it so this is what i'm going to use um i do need a ruler joe please <clears throat> the good one um, or just something, just anything will be good at the moment. Okay, so I've got my laser cut card here, and what I've got here is I've got to put one of the ink colours. Now this is um, terracotta tile, I think. That's correct, isn't it, Jay? I've gone completely blank at the moment. Terracotta, I can't tile. say the word. Terracotta, terracotta tile. tile. Um, and I've cut a piece of this down here to measure well, it's 13.8 millimetres, okay, by 10 and a half centimetres, okay, I, I said 13.8 millimetres, didn't I? I meant 13.8 centimetres by 10 and a half centimetres, which that equates to um, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 and 7 sixteenths by four and one eighth of an inch okay so that's fine we've only just uh, jay's just been going through swaps rebecca so you haven't um you haven't missed any of the demonstrations at the moment so we've just been going through all the lovely swaps we got from everyone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this as a backing 
on here so that it, um, it just creates a colour on the back. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the glue and I will just put a little bit of the glue, tiny bits, on the edges here. Just so that it gives it something to hold on to. And I can probably find some bits in the middle as well. Just tiny bits of glue. You don't want much on this, otherwise it's going to splodge out everywhere. So that should be fine. Add a little bit over there. Jake, could you come and get Tommy? He's, yep. um, he's going to be a nuisance tonight, I can see. It. Come on. Oh. It's because I left the pom-pom on the table. He, oh. wants to, he wants to pom-pom away, does he? Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to then close that down. Come on. Like so. All right. Tommy. Come here. Come here. Let's see, we left the cats. Well, we didn't leave the cats on their own for... Um, whilst we were away we, we had my dad come over to look after them but um they have they've been very needy since we've been back on sunday they just won't leave us alone has your dear mother and friend recovered yet um kind of <laughs> i think mum's really finding it um i found it very exhausting that she she's not watching this live at the moment she's gone out to a card class um, so she will catch this later on, um, but I think she found it very exhausting. <laughs> Bless. So there we go. So that's that. So it's just given the laser cut card here. It has and putting a putting a backing on it, just makes that pop out just a little bit more. Hi Esther. And what I've also done is um, with the nested labels here, I have pre I have already die cut. A piece here okay so this is using one of the medium dies not that one that one's like been used as well so it's like the second or third I think it's the third largest and I've used that one to die cut this one out already and you can see with these dies that they are double double stitched here as well or double pierced so what you get is you get your inner part up and then you will get your outer part as well which on the on this part it was on the scrap, but it's quite nice if you were going to do not in the setting. Jerk, Tommy, come on away, oh. please. Come, Tommy. <coughs> I was busy watching you on the screen. <laughs> you forgot about the cat. Okay, and then it's because Suki's got this. Yes, yeah, Suki has got the seat down here as well. So then, what I have also done is I have then used the second, the next piece down. And I've then die cut a second one. So you can see then, you can see what happens when you get that double stitch in. Okay. You get the, it gives you your two, your two layers here. So you get the stitching here and then at least then you'll get the stitching on the outside. So, um, which is quite, I think it's a really nice little thing. But obviously nice on this detail. one, sorry, yeah, nice, nice detail. All right, so which is quite nice there. So it's got, this card is gonna go this way around here. Right, let's just pop those back in because we are actually, I'm not going to do any die cutting live on camera. I've already pre-cut those. Are you happy now, Tommy? You've got your seat. Okay, Suki's just left the seat and now Tommy's happy and just sat down by the side of me. That's all he wanted. He just wanted the seat. <laughs> all right, so that's that. So this part is just going to be a layer part down here. So what I'm going to do is I have already mounted the stamp set on... The block here, and I'm just going to ink these birds up. I'm going to do it this way actually. With Memento, I like to go this way because it's a firmer pad. When you're using our other pads, I prefer to then go down because you get a bit more control. All right, so I'm now just going to pop this in like so, just position those birds in the middle. Give it a good old push down, hold it down for a couple of seconds. Okay, just so that it, and there we go. So we've got the birds have now gone on to that middle part, like so. So I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring here and I've already pre-cut or pre-stamped some of these ones here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring. So I've got a, I've got a load of blends here. So I'm gonna grab my crumb cake in my light and dark okay so i'm gonna just gonna 
color, color these in like so. Now I'm using this on Whisper White Thick is what I've decided to use tonight. And then I'm gonna use the dark here just to, on some of these highlights and shadows around here. And then I'll go back over with the, with the light one again. Just to blend those in a little bit. Okay, so that's those two done. And I'm gonna grab myself some of the Granny Apple Green light and I've also then got a dark old olive. So I'm gonna mix two colors here. So I'm gonna color in my leaves here. And you can see I'm being quite rough with it. I'm not being perfect. Um, I'm leaving white bits in there. You don't need it to be 100% perfect. There we go, so that's those bits. And then I'm gonna take the dark in the old olive just to give it and just color in some of those lines. And those use those lines on the drawings, kind of like shadows and highlights. So if you're not good at, if, you're, if, you're not, if you struggle with your colouring then this is probably a good way to use them and then go back over with your, your lighter colour just to blend it in a little bit. So there we go, that stays there. And I am going to colour one of the birds in in yellow. So this is Daffodil Delight, so I'm going to colour colour this one in. all of the yellow here okay. and hi Corinne hi Anne we'll just take the the darker one and go around those shadows and those highlights again get the lights and then just blend those um, blend those out a little bit. So you're going over it just to blend it, okay? So that's the one in the yellow. And then the other one which I did was in the, um, was the petal pink. Um, in the light and the dark. So I'm gonna go with the light for one of them. Now the dark one for me on this one wasn't dark enough, okay? So, if I'll show you what I mean. The dark one, it was it was kind of there, but it didn't, it didn't have enough darkness on it. So I've done that, but then what I did is I brought in the Flirty Flamingo. And I've just used that because it's very similar and it's just a little bit darker, so I've brought that in. And so again, I'm mixing colors. I'm not just sticking to the same color group or came to the same color in light and dark. I will quite happily mix it and then blend it in. And then you've got like a little bit of a, you can see down there, we've got a little bit of a detail on those two so what I've got what I've got done is I've already pre-colored one here so I'm just going to finish off the final bird so we will then color this one in the in the light like so let's use a little bit of the darker one just on some of these shadows here is that dark? Yes, yeah, so it doesn't, it's not dark enough for me. I think you also need to use the different sides of the pen as well, because one side, this side feels, it feels a little bit darker. Have I used it too much? Is maybe, it out? yeah, maybe it's running out a little bit. So if you find that, make sure you use the both ends, because actually the brush end on that one is actually quite nice and dark. And then I've got the other, Gonna mix it in with the flirty flamingo here as well, and again I'm just using those lines as um, as guidance for shadows, and then I'm gonna grab the lights, and then just blend it all in, just 
just to soften those lines in a little bit. So there we go. So that's some colouring there. So you can see how that comes out. So some real simple colouring. Nothing, nothing too complicated, real simple. Okay. So that there is going on in Plonk itself. Now you can see I've done a very vanilla on Whisper White. I've got the two tones here on the two cards. I quite, personally, I quite liked it. Because what I've also got here is as well is I've already coloured some of the stems. So you've got the... You've got the leaves here and you have also got the flowers there and there. So what I've done is I've already cut and coloured those two bits in. So, and the same principle is on this. So I might actually get you to cut these out for me, Jay, in a yeah, moment. Yeah, I've got a sookie on. You've got a sookie on? Okay. But I can come with it. So if I just colour these in, so you can see I'm being nice and... I'm not being careful. I'm, I'm not going over the lines, but obviously I'm just roughly colouring. And then... Like that. And then I will just come in with the light again, just to blend. I'm ready. Right there. So that's that one there. And then I will do the same. Now I've got Calypso Coral here for this one. So I will. How many blends? How many blends, <laughs> yeah. Lots of colours. But obviously, if you, depending on what you've got, then you, you use it. You, you use what you've got, really, don't you? But if you if you do have a lot of blends, you might as well use them. Well, yeah, that's it. If you build if you're building up a collection, then you, yeah, use your collection. If not, you, we could do a club. Yeah. And you can get your blends. Yeah. So, is anyone interested in doing a blends club? Let us know, and if we can get enough interest in that, we will um, we'll look at doing a club, where we can do what? How would a club work, Jay? <laughs> Saved by the bell there. Uh, so, uh, our dinner is ready. Okay, so with blends, you just work with it. There we go. All right, and then that lighter colour just kind of blends it, blends out the two. So can you see what we've got there? It just gives you a little bit of detail. So I'm going to get, so I'm going to get Jay to cut those bits out for me, and then I'm going to start constructing. Now what I have also done is that you've also got the lovely designer series paper, which comes, which is also part of the suite for the bird ballad. And if you're if you're lucky enough, you can. If you're, if you're patient enough and you don't mind cutting into it, you can grab your scissors and you can cut these. I'm coming. Cut these out like so. So this is, I've never, I'm very, very rarely do I do something like this, but you know what? It's actually quite nice just to cut into the paper and use the paper as elements. Do you have the full set? The, what, the full set of blends, is that Esther? We don't actually. <laughs> no, we don't, still don't have the full set. We, so I think we're... we need a club. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's that. You will, I'm so, I'm very, I'm very close to finishing up now. Um, I'm, it's just a matter of now just putting all of this together. All right, so I have got the, um, the very vanilla scalloped lace trim here again which is part of the bird ballad suite so you can see this you can see there is a method to my madness here see yeah, everything is coordinating but you can save even more money on this stamp set which is which is great so if there's anything else which you like here you can save yourself a few, few quid on one and just get that if you've already got it or you can um put it towards something else Get more for your money. Get more for your money. And who doesn't like getting more for their money? Which is why we will be putting in an order tonight for paper and ink pads because um, we can get more for our money. <laughs> 
So, um, I need some um, double-sided tape, Jay, please. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this, the, 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 the scalloped lace trim is going to go over the back, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of some tear and tape. I'm just going to pop that over like this in the middle because this is going to get covered up anyway. Now we're using our take your pick tool and just to pick that off. And then this is then going to then just kind of just go over back and forth. That's cool. So yeah, so I've, I've been thinking about the blends club. So it could be two blends per month. You get two blends. Uh, if you already got the blends that we are offering, you can change it for any other products or different colors, and you will get a PDF of a, an exclusive project with using the blends that you get from us, and it will have a video tutorial as well. Okay. And only for the price of the blends plus B and B. Okay, so we will yeah we will work out some, I think official wording on that Jay, shall we? Yeah. And we I just do, need to find my notes. <laughs> and we will do a, we will do a blends club. Okay, so um, and it's a great way of you stocking up without having to buy them all at once. And we will then give you some freebie tutorials as well to show you how to use those blends which you have just purchased, which is a win-win really, isn't it? And you get Jay's beautiful coloring. So um, he's, the, he's the master at coloring. So he's just gonna have to tone it down a little bit to make it simple well, for beginners. That's, that's why I'm only thinking of two blends. So I will be using those two blends um okay. maybe not limiting to just two but not as much as eight okay. or nine <laughs> yeah so if jay if you want to have a jay master class with our blends with our blends club then um register some interest with us okay so that's going to go down so you can see then what i've been talking i've been putting some foam pads on the back of this here and then i'm just going to then position that i'm going to eyeball where it goes but i want it to obviously look even I think that looks a little bit wonky, but um, ah, it's good enough. <laughs> yep, that looks good to me. Okay, and then this part here is going to go here. So, but what I want to do is I want to probably, I want to start putting some of these bits underneath these elements, which I have um, cut from the designer series paper. Pretty. I'm going to go behind. That's cool. There and there as well. So, I need to... Have a bit of glue and I need to kind of think about how I want to do this now. So I'm kind of like thinking something great. like that. Something along those lines, okay. So I've got a rough idea of where everything should go now. So I'm going to just take that off and I'm going to just grab my glue. So this is a good way to so position it before you glue everything down. And then you can like roughly know where it's all going. And I can then start to layer it up accordingly. So I know that bit was there. That bit can come off. So that bit can go back on. Underneath that. Pop a little bit of glue on the back there. I love how the, the stamp images matches the DSP. Yeah, you wouldn't actually know that one of those is what I have stamped and one of those is actually the mm. designer series paper. paper. I've created a new tool, paper. <laughs> you were thinking of PPP, you were. I was. So there we go, so you can see that that's gone, gonna go over like so, like that. 
so I'm happy if I need to I can position because it's wet glue it's got a little bit of wiggle room and then we will then do exactly the same with these bits down here so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just on this stem here So obviously if you, if you don't feel comfortable with the colouring, like Jay said, the, um, the stamped images look just like the, um, the design series paper. So you can just quite easily just cut it all out. So that's there. Okay, I'm going to stick that on. It. Okay, so that one there I want to go a little bit of glue just there. So that's that. So I'll finish this off now by putting the glue on the back of this. That can then seat itself in there like so. What I want to do is on this one here, I want to take a dimensional and stick that in that. And that there can then just raise up on a dimensional. Can go in there like so. Obviously I've, I've realised that I've left, left this sentiment less as well, but I think what we can do is we can, the sentiment can possibly go in the, in the middle, I think will be sufficient for that there. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think you've got some, in this particular stamp set, you've got some really nice, friends. We, we are the best of friends, um, thanks for being you, the world needs more of you, thank you, your friendship means the world to me. So, depending on what you want, I, I, we kind of start to use more sentimentless cards, don't we? Because then what you can do is you can design something, but then you can quite easily just pop a sentiment anywhere on the card after you've done it, which is quite nice. So, if, if you know you're specifically making the card for a, a reason, then pop your sentiment on your knee. But if you don't know what you're making it for at the moment, then maybe leave it sentimentless, and then you can then pop your sentiment in the middle. But there you go, there is my, um, oh, I've got one more, I've got one bit here, can I pop that in there somewhere? Oh yeah, I, I can't leave that bit which I cut yeah. out, can I? So let's pop a, um, this one more down. I know. I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> off cut. Look, you missed some. No, I'm kidding. So we're just going to build up this, um, look at some <laughs> Okay, no, I'm, no, I'm yeah. going to leave it now. I'm going to stop there. I've cut it, but I don't need to use it. I think, I think I've got the correct amount there, nice. I think. So there we go. So there is my free as a bird card using the stitched nested label dies along with the um, laser cut, cut um, tin of cards as well. I, I was greedy and have them all. <laughs> Lol, yes. <laughs> So there we go. I hope you like that. Um, and that one there is, is relatively simple. It's just, there's, uh, there's a lot of blends involved, but you don't necessarily, if you only had yellow and greens, all of the birds could be in um, yellow. You've got your greens, obviously. It's, it's, you use what you've got, okay? Um, and then eventually as you build it up, and I can say some of this is designer series paper, some of this is cut out and stamped, but you, I don't think you would actually know. So Lovely. there we go. I Hi, hope Amy. you like that. So there is tonight's card. So lovely. So are we going to go back to? Yeah. Um, we're going to go back and wow. Jake and um, Jake and show off his beautiful face again. <laughs> <laughs> Andy I can. have a feeling you're being sarcastic. <laughs> I'll be busted. Have <laughs> So, we can still see, we've still got a cat sat here watching us. She was um, lying down earlier. Yeah, she was lying down, she's got up, and let's flick it round. And you can see down there, I've got a cat laying down by the side of me as well. As fast asleep on the seat. <laughs> so I'm just going to so, sit around him. Jay's going to go. sit somewhere around him. <laughs> so there we go.
Oh, are you going to wake up, Tommy? No, no you're not going to. Gonna, no. So, I can't believe I've done the whole video with yes, my see. ears on as well. You, you I didn't even notice. It. You can't feel it. We swapped one. So there we go. There is tonight's card. I hope you like that. Actually, I'm quite, I'm quite happy it's with really that nice. tonight. Yeah, very, very nice. So, um, so good. So there we go. So if you'd like to place any orders with us, and please do, we will be. I think what time is it now? Um, I reckon we'll give it until 10 o'clock this evening. We'll yep. place our order. So if anyone's living local to Basingstoke and wants to place anything, I'll get 15% off and collect it from us. We will be placing an order tonight at 10 o'clock. So long, let us know by 10 and we can then you can do you can share the shipping with us. Um, and it's just a flat rate fee of one pound postage and packaging. But obviously you need to be able to come and collect that from us either in class or somewhere in Basingstoke. So there we go, there is tonight's class as well. Um, I love it, don't you just love these? They're amazing. Shake your pom pom, shake your pom pom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Um, join, <laughs> come join help, us again on Sunday where we'll continue with showing our on-stage swap. Uh, and I'll probably create one of my team swap. So throughout the week, uh, throughout the few days that we were there, every day we were actually giving our team small gifts, uh, stamping up products or um, magnets and things like that. Um, and I'll, I'll share with you how I created one of the pen holders using floral essence, I wanna say. Yeah. Come on, you're gonna say goodbye to me. You're gonna say hello. There we there go. We go. That's a good boy. But look at the camera. <laughs> That's it. Right. So, do you approve, Tommy? Do you approve? Oh, I think it's the birds he likes. Do you approve? Good boy. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Right. Thank you again. All right, and we will be back on Sunday evening at seven o'clock ish. Yeah, I don't think we have anything on Sunday. No, I don't think we're fine. Excellent. Thank you for sticking with us, and we will see you soon. All right, thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Tail. <laughs>